This video is about the FADS presentation for Foods AA or Foods for Health. This also includes some basic organic chemistry. In order to prepare for this presentation, you will need to print out three different organic chemistry structures. Those are also attached. First, the basics. One gram of fat is equal to nine calories. Remember, calories is just another word for energy that your body uses. One gram of carbohydrates or protein is only four calories. Considered healthy is 30% of your total calories or less to be of fat. It also enables our bodies to survive for weeks and sometimes months without food. It's also used for digestion and absorbing those fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Remember that vitamin C and those B vitamins are water-soluble. And all minerals are also water-soluble and do not require fat to be absorbed. This is the first picture that you will want to include in your Cornell notes and it's the fatty acids picture. The top one is all saturated fats. This means that it is saturated with hydrogens. It is full of hydrogens. The C's are carbons and they always will want four bonds. So that's those four sticks on each end. So one, two, three, four. Hydrogens only require the one bond. If it is not saturated with hydrogens, it will still have four bonds. This is a double bond. When it is not saturated with hydrogens, it is unsaturated. On your notes, please circle those double bonds on the unsaturated fatty acids like you see here that I have done. This is the second picture that you will want to include in your notes and it is the triglyceride. Each fat will need three fatty acids to be attached to be a complete fat. As you can see here, there are two saturated fats fatty acids. These are full of hydrogens. And the last one is unsaturated. You can see it has one double bond. Please be sure to circle that double bond. This is another way to look at the fats. These are still saturated. They are in a line. They are able to be compacted together which will result in a solid at room temperature. This is your butter and lard. With unsaturated fats, they are unable to pack together as nicely as you can see here, those double bonds. It makes them crooked and requires more space. In this case, it will mean that it cannot have that tight packing and will be liquid at room temperature like most oils. So why are saturated fats less healthy? They have that reputation of those bad fats and consumed in high rates they will clog those arteries. When the arteries are clogged it can bring about heart disease and heart attacks. In your body those saturated fats seek out each other and they bond. They kind of are like having a little party in one area. They don't spread out. Unsaturated fats do not bond together. They are able to go through your system very easily. Here's a picture of a real heart and where the plaque has gathered and clogged those arteries to produce that heart disease. As you can see, there's really not a lot of space for the blood to go through, and that adds to the high blood pressure, also called hypertension. 
and can add that stress to the body. So how can we fix that? Besides expensive and lengthy surgeries, lowering that saturated fat intake and increasing those unsaturated fats like oils, decreasing butter and lards will help reduce the clogged arteries. Lowering your cholesterol intake. Cholesterol is only in animal-based foods, so dairy and meats. If you're smoking, quit smoking. Be active. And pomegranate has shown to help slow clogging in a study. Trans fats. Trans fats are technically unsaturated fats, but they have been chemically engineered, so they are not natural. The body does not break it down as easily as if it were a naturally made unsaturated fat, such as olive oil. The consumption of trans fats increases the risk of heart disease by raising that bad LDL cholesterol and lowering the very good cholesterol, or HDL. This is the last picture that you want to include in your notes. This is another way to look at organic chemistry. Each little bond right here on the edges are carbons. And we are using the assumption that they are full of hydrogens because they don't have other bonds. Here, you can see is a double bond, and this is making it a natural, unsaturated fat. An example of trans fat is here. It has still that double bond, but it is engineered in a way to make it lay straight so it can pack together and become a solid at room temperature. Examples of this will be things like uh, shortening, for example, um, Crisco used trans fat. They now have a new recipe that does not use um, the same, but um, regular kinds of um, shortenings will have the still trans fats. And then again, another picture of a regular saturated fat at the bottom. Did you know that trans fat is also called hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated soybean oil, cottonseed oil, anything that says hydrogenated is a trans fat. Food companies lower their trans fat to a smaller serving so they can advertise that zero grams. If it is under half a gram, they don't have to include that in their nutrition label. They will still have to include hydrogenated in their ingredient list, but they do not have to label the amount. Here's an example of what it might look like. The serving size is only 28 grams, so it's a small package, and the trans fat is zero grams. However, it does have that partially hydrogenated cottonseed oil, making it still include a small amount of hydrogenated or trans fat. Omega-3 fatty acids are one of those big buzzwords that is one of those healthy fats. It is an unsaturated fat and it helps against those heart disease issues including arthritis, stroke, and depression. It also helps reduce that blood pressure and circulation because it is reducing that plaque build up from saturated and trans fats. Supplements of omega-3s are not as effective. In most cases, supplements are not as good as the real foods that your body can break down. This is not true for calcium, however. A supplement of calcium, of about 30% of calcium citrate, are um, somewhat more effective to absorb into your body. Where can you find omega-3s? Here are some examples using a graph. Flaxseed has a lot and two tablespoons. Walnuts, salmon, uh, a lot of fatty fish, which is usually the pink fleshes, will have more omega-3s. Soybeans, halibut, shrimp, snapper, even tofu has a little bit of omega-3s. 
scallops, and winter squash. All right, on your Cornell notes, make sure that you have a summary. If it is better for you and your studying to do this the next day, please wait to do that. And then we will turn in notes, uh, not today, obviously, but when I ask for them later. Thank you very much.